Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about silhouettes. Um, this uh, scorpion here um, is created only in a few minutes um, with a silhouette. And I'm trying to find uh, always a faster way to create a base shape. And the details uh, you can spend hours um, if you like, but um, the rough form, yes, how to get it fast. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do it. And let's create a new scene. Yes, we don't need the sphere. The silhouettes, you can search uh, a picture search for silhouettes. Uh, there are, you can get a silhouette of everything. Um, and yes, when you uh, when you're fine with one, um, yes, press on it and uh, hold it and save it to the camera uh, roll, and you can create it uh, your own. In for example, in Procreate, uh, only black white, uh, brush it, and it works. And in Nomad Sculpt. Um, for this example, I, um, I use um, the scorpion. This um, is a, because they are separate parts, but um, yes, you can use every silhouette. Okay, and in Nomad Sculpt, you can use, um, it's possible to use uh, the brushes. Um, you can use, um, sorry, I'll bring in a sphere and uh, yes, every brush has um, uh, alpha here and you can use uh, this uh, and bring it on a plane or, but it's too, um, it's not good. <laughs> Um, I use for this um, an online tool and this is this, uh, the link is below um, in the description and okay let's open it and I downloaded, I downloaded the scorpion um, silhouette press here, download it, use it. And in the settings here, this is uh, use the extrude setting. Only the extrude setting is uh, works perfect. I made a video about this um, yes, a few weeks ago. Um, and then press uh, convert to STL. Takes a few seconds. And then you get this, a flat scorpion. You can download it and, okay, let's go to Nomad and bring in the, the scorpion. Now you got a flat, sharp, detailed, um, I turn on the wire, it looks like this. And with a gizmo first, when you get such a thing, check uh, with a green big dot, uh, is there, um, um, yes, is this mesh okay? And it works fine. Then press on the mask button, mask it, and use uh, the extraction to extract a shell. Now you, yes, this is your scorpion. Um, and the next step is you can use here in the decimation menu, uh, there's a tri planner, you can con convert it and here change a, a resolution a, a little bit higher and convert it. And then you, then the shapes uh, get rounder. You can play around it uh, with it. 
and here you uh, there's a smoothness slider you can test it what happens and um, to get nice results and yes the divisions and I'm happy with this I validate the object the base mesh uh, we don't need anymore we can delete it and when you get this you can do a few things with it um, you can uh, split it that's a tool and split this one and I turn on the outline to see uh, which mesh is active and with a gizmo I rotate this one bring it in position I turn off the perspective now we got this and the scorpion is yes fine we can simple match the object select both and now uh, we can um, I go a step back before the simple merge because I want this a little bit um, thinner here um, of the I scale it down to make the the arms and and uh, or the legs uh, thin like this and in the top view. I select with a cell mask the body you can use the blur and invert the mask and use the gizmo to scale this a little bit bring it in a in a position like this so, so. Okay, and then we can simple merge the object. Then with other tools, it's possible to rearrange the mesh a little bit. You can use the drag tool and um, sorry, go in the top view and bring the mesh together with some parts they that they stick like this and as you like don't worry we remesh it I'm playing around a little bit that you can see what happens. Um, no, this is not nice. Okay. And there's another tool, the inflate tool with the inflate tool you can um, sorry there's a sub on we need um, you can bring this parts together brush a little bit here like this okay and now we can use the voxel remesh. Um, remesh it, then the mesh looks like this. We can use the symmetry, right to left, yes. And, and you can use always um, the cell mask for something. Um, mask parts 
blur it, gizmo, make it, make it thinner. And when you want to rearrange um, the object a little bit, um, that it, um, let's mask the body. And then you can use the move tool. Symmetry is on. Then you can bring here the, uh, the legs uh, in position. Or here, this. And you can sculpt then with the mesh. And Clear the mask, inflate, and make the body a little bit bigger, like this, or here. And uh, when you use the sub inflate, you can make the legs thinner or, or a little bit bigger. And the smooth tool is also there. But um, in a few minutes you can create here a nice mesh um, to play around. And yes, now it's sculpting time, creasing and so on. like you want. Wire painted and the scorpion looks like this. I think it's fine. <laughs> okay, have fun with sculpting. Ciao.